little girls and boys. Today, I'm hoping that you guys remember the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, because we're going to use her as sort of an example of something. So Goldilocks is the girl who goes into the house and she finds things that are too big or too small, and then she'll find something that's just right. Or with the oatmeal, she finds something that's too hot or too cold, and then she'll find some oatmeal that's just right. So just like Goldilocks finds something that is too much this way, too much the other way, we are going to be looking for the just right pace in our reading today. We want to say things just at the right rhythm, not too fast, because when we read too fast, we often miss things. We might miss important words or not catch important details. But also if we read too slow, readers often by the end of the story have forgotten what happened because they were reading it slow, slow, so slowly that they've missed things and they forget it by the very end after reading that slowly. So we're going to read a pigeon book by Mo Willems and we're going to practice reading too fast. See what that sounds like too slow, see what that sounds like. And then I'll practice reading just right, which will help me to understand the story, read fluently, and be able to recall important details about the story. So let's start with reading it too quickly. I'm gonna rush through and I'll probably miss important words. The pigeon needs a bath, I do not. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. Hi, I don't know if you've noticed, but the pigeon is filthy. So I could use your help because the pigeon needs a bath. That is a matter of opinion. What a kidder. I don't really need a bath. I took one last month. I think it was last month. Scritch, scritch. Clean, dirty. They're just words, right? I feel clean. Maybe you need a bath. Now I'm going to model what it might sound like if I read too slowly. This is the type of reading where you read it at such a slow pace that by the end of the story, you don't even know what happened in it. It happened so long ago because you were reading it so slowly and laboriously. Yeah. When was the last time you had a bath? Oh, that was pretty recently. Life is so short. Why waste it on unimportant things? Like taking a bath. Lastly, I'm going to try to read this part of the text at a just right pace so that I can remember it at the end. I can read it fluently, but I'm not rushing through and missing important details. What smell? I don't smell anything. And if I do, it's a very normal smell for a pigeon. You know, in some places, it is impolite to bathe. All of these flies buzzing around me are purely coincidental. Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. P.U. Yuck. Let's get out of here. Take a bath, dude. Okay, fine. If it means so much to you, I'll take a bath. Whoa, I'm not going to like this one bit. The water is too hot, too cold, too lukewarm, too hot. Too wet, too cold, not enough toys, too many toys, too deep, not deep enough, too cold, now it's too hot again, too reflective, that is still too hot. Well, I guess this is okay. Splash. Hey, this is fun. Wash, wash, washy, la la la, singing in the tub. This is the life. I love bubbles. Look at my wrinkly toes. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm a fish, I'm a fish. 10 hours later. Can I stay in the tub forever? 
okay to be. So I'd like you to practice that this week as well. Make sure you're talking at just the right pace or if it's inside your head, reading at just the right pace so that it's not too slow, not too fast. It's just right. Bye to be. Happy reading.